Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Open Road for Two. We got uh, Randy and Mylene here, and we're trying out something a little different. You know, this is a little different vehicle. I know we've seen it in some of the other videos, but it's not very frequent that it shows up in, in our adventures. So uh, we decided to take it up on a trail, and what are we doing today? So we were approached um, by a company um, that we'll share with you who said, hey, we want to let you try out a truck bed tent. Well, as you guys know, we adventure in the Tacoma and we have the Super Pacific um, Switchback, which has a built-in tent. So we did let them know that we also have another adventure vehicle, which is Katsu, our forerunner. So this is an SUV tent that we're testing out. It's the first time we've ever tried anything like this. Um, you'll see us unboxing it for the first time, putting, putting it, it together, together for the first time. So there might be some, you know, ins and outs of us <laughs> trying to get this thing together. We might fumble through it a little bit, you never know. Um, but so. we wanted to share this with you because there are people out there who are doing outdoor recreation for the first time, yeah. overlanding, adventuring. You don't know, you do not always need a rooftop tent. There are other alternatives. There are tents that you could just put on the ground. There are these type of tents, uh, truck bed tents. So we'll let you know if you stay tuned until the end of the video if this tent gets the open road for two thumbs up so let's get into this adventure and the video let's go she beat me to it sure how our spare tire carrier would interfere with how the tent set up we decided to go ahead and remove the rigid armor tire carrier for this trip on this trip we took the forerunner onto Santa Rosa Road 7S02 also referred to as the Santa Rosa Truck Trail. It's an 11 mile road accessed from Highway 74 and has awesome yellow post campsites. So one of the things of yellow post camping is you take a chance if you keep looking for the next one because the next spot might be taken. So this one we decided to take a chance and see what we found. Oh, look, there's a road that way too. So that's one of the things I was saying in the last clip is yellow post camping. There are you know, I think on this mountain, at least seven. And when you pass one, if it's available, you're taking the risk of rolling the dice, hoping there's a better one up ahead. Um, and there might not be, so you gotta make your way back down. And hope it's still available, if nothing's available. And hope that one's available. So, but so far, pretty much like we found three that are open down below us. So we're venturing up further, higher up the mountain and you know taking our chances it's like a uh, yellow post choose your own adventure it's kind of what it is yeah. and we flipped a coin we said when we came across the first one okay heads we leave it, to chance. leave it to chance tails we stay and heads it was so that's why we're heading up the mountain so. we'll see where we end up <laughs> so we found a spot came in off that road right there got some nice tree coverage for shade. Um, this actual site has one, two picnic tables. Um, it's got the fire pit, even though there's no fires right now. Good to know for winter. Very wooded area. Not much of a view but the trees, but it's very private. Not bad spot all right so unboxing the granville 4s from offroadinggear.com let's see all right 
Got our instructions here on the side, which is nice. Offroadinggear.com. Some straps and the instructions here, so you don't lose them, which is nice. It's not. It's got like a uh, vinyl almost feel to it. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's set up camp. So we did have a little bit of a casualty here, and it's my carelessness uh, trying to pull it around the bottom that, that connects around the bottom of the SUV, trying to pull it underneath, and having this attached up top, I ripped it from the uh, from where it was secured on the side of the tent. So it's probably something that can be glued back or uh, stitched back on. But um, so the stitching there was actually the stitching looks pretty good. It's just I put a lot of pressure on it and pulled it. So user error, uh, but there are so many attachments with this thing that I don't think we're really going to need it and miss it because there's some along the bottom, along the behind, underneath, and then some even up on top. We have a Prinsu rack. We'll try to get a shot of that where it attaches to the top to any roof rack would work. But in this case, with the Prinsu, with the bar being so far back, it's, it's a perfect setup. But uh, so far, so good. I mean, I'm not just saying it. I mean, we're relatively impressed with the setup. So one of the disadvantages of having a rooftop tent, um, even with our switchback with the camper and the tent up top, is once you get to camp and you're out and set up, you're kind of stuck unless you're willing to break everything back down and do like a night run or a trail running out exploring wherever you're at. So a good advantage with this option is you can set up, but hey, if you're ready to go out and do some more exploring, you don't want to stay at camp, there are like five to six attachments which connect the tent to your SUV, um, in our case, the Forerunner, that you just detach. And interior are two panels. You have your screen panel for bugs, and then you have your tent panel. Zip those back up, and the tent is protected from the outside elements, and you're good to go and do some more adventuring. Speaking of exploring, we took the opportunity before we made dinner to just explore the area. We always like to have an idea of where we're at, what's around, and you never know what you might find. On this particular trip, we decided to take the easy route and just prepare a cold dinner. Um, that way we didn't have to do some fuss and muss with the stove or any um, dishes. So the menu for tonight was some ceviche tostadas. Simple and easy. So that was a nice, quick, easy meal we did tonight. We didn't even have to fire up the, the grill or anything. Just Sometimes cold dinners. Yeah. Especially in the summertime, you don't really need go. a hot meal. It's way to go. I, I know a lot of people like doing the gourmet thing. We do every once in a while, mm -hmm. but sometimes simple is good. And, and hey, I mean, ceviche wasn't the best ceviche, but it was wasn't good. bad. Yeah. I mean, made it pretty nice. And uh, But yeah. It was good. <laughs> but we want to talk a little bit about the, the spots that we found up here and, and yellow posts in general. We've, we, we've talked a little bit about them and we've camped mm -hmm. at them before in some of the previous videos. If you've seen those. We have those. some links... Somewhere. here somewhere 
um, to, do that. <laughs> to some other videos that we've actually done some yellow post and we know that from the comments some people have actually checked them out and yeah. they hopefully they were able to to get to some and them. enjoy them as much as we did yeah. um, why we wanted to highlight yellow post is for people beginning um, venturing out overlanding just camping in general yellow post is a very good way to get started mm -hmm. because it has a designated area it's got the table for you it's got the fire pit for you and it's maintained so you don't have to worry about oh my gosh where is it where am I going to look for a spot to camp tonight so I think it's a good way to get your feet wet and you know the trails to get there are also part of the fun yeah. And you know one of the nice things about this location too, and 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 so every location we've been to up here is is that they really well are are well maintained. Yeah. So people have taken care of them, and, and we always try to keep it cleaner than when we found it and pick up anything. Yeah, every we time can we find get to a spot, we look for trash, pick up whatever is nearby, and this one I think we picked up maybe five to say, pieces. Yeah, that and, was it. And they were pieces that mm -hmm. you know easily got overlooked, I'm sure, by by people before. Yeah. You know, bottle caps and things like that. That. You know, no you can, masks. Yeah, we no, didn't find any no masks, masks on this trip. <laughs> no, uh, what are they called? Uh, uh, white flowers. I've heard. Oh yeah, referred to yeah. With People's toilet paper. Uh. We haven't yeah, we haven't found any white flowers. So, <laughs> that's so that's good that's, thing. that's a that's a great thing. That's a great thing that it's really kind of clean up here and along the trail. We mm -hmm. didn't really see any 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 signs of any real litter or, or uh, anything. You know, anything. It's just a it was definitely a nice nice little trail up. Uh, and what we talked about, I mean. You, it, we have four wheel drive. It's, it's, it's oh, yeah, probably, you, you don't really, we never engaged it, didn't engage it. I mean, I'm glad we have it. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, but, but realistically, uh, you know, it's a, it's a nice summer day or even spring days. You can get up here. If there's no weather in the area, probably with a two wheel drive yeah. and, and be fine venturing up here. But wintertime, this trail, they do tend close to it, close yeah. the gate and you can't access it. Um, I'm not exactly sure the time that they do. I don't know if it's, before if because this area sometimes does get a little bit of snow um so you'd have to check um the forest service their website just type in um santa rosa truck trail and it should pop up if it's open or not um which i think this one opened up was it april yeah yeah right at spring the gates opened up and that's when we headed up here the first, first time, time yeah. so put yellow post on your 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 to-do list especially if you're brand new to adventuring it's beautiful we still enjoyed even though we've been out boondocking way out there it is something we still enjoy especially if you just want to go out for you know a night or two it's it's a perfect perfect alternative to um you know going on a longer trip but you still want to get away and have that feeling of being out in the woods and, and wilderness and in our opinion better than the campground for sure so. Be way better than the campground nothing against campgrounds nothing if against you watched our last them, video but... But I mean, if you see in this video, there's like no, no one near around. us. I mean, it is the trees. We've seen some blue jays, a couple of chipmunks. It's been amazing. Um, but knowing, yeah, there are people around. They're just several yards away, yeah. you know. It's it's a great feeling to feel secluded and centering and connecting with nature. That's what it's all about. And, and so far, you know, we're, we're digging this tent. i got to tell you, oh, we, yeah. we, are, we are digging it. And uh you know, we'll we still see have because to sleep in yeah, it. we still have still to sleep, have to sleep on sleep it. But, in it so. but but and that was her biggest thing when we started doing this was you wanted to be off the ground. That's why yeah. we started with the truck bed tent and then the rooftop and then right. ultimately yeah. super Pacific. But, but but this has the option that if you have a lot of people in their um, forerunners yeah. um, have bed, bed system, pe but uh, bah, 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 bed <laughs> platforms. So. You could you'll be sleeping off the ground. Yeah. We just we don't have that in our Forerunner. You know we still haven't finished building this out um, for our full Overland rig. It, it, it gets us out there, just yeah. not like what the truck does. But um, yeah, sleeping on the ground it'll be we'll interesting. See. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Stay tuned for yeah. the morning, and we'll, we'll give our give final <laughs> review. Right? Final review of the tent, but so far, I mean, uh, so far I'm super I, I think happy you're going to see it. more of it for sure. Yeah, and I think the next test too will be if it if it is adaptable with, with the truck. Yeah, which will be because cool. because like we said, it it would make a great annex for the mm -hmm. for the for the truck. Because sometimes and, those annex putting those walls and taking them down and yeah. it could be a hassle. Where I think the second time that we put this up, it'll be much faster oh, yeah. now that we know how everything but kind even, of fits together. Even for the first go around and putting it together when it took us 10 mm -hmm. minutes, I mean, yeah. if that, I mean, yeah, some of the fine details like putting up the, 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 the door awning. Yeah, the door awning here took a little longer, but and then figuring out how to secure it. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's a quick setup. And, Good. So yep. far, so good. So far, so good. So we're we'll, going to leave you here uh, for now. In this we're going to enjoy the, the night. Enjoy the sunset. Um, 
couple of beverages. We got some movies we're gonna watch in the tent. Got my red vines, or not red vines, um Twizzlers. Twizzlers. I like I'm a Twizzler girl, not a red vine girl. Yeah. I don't really like Crispin, but that's her thing. <laughs> and some gluten free brownies to gluten enjoy free. for dessert. So um, we'll catch you in the morning. Sounds amazing. All right. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. morning. <laughs> oh, it's another beautiful morning. This is our favorite, favorite time of camping. It's the early morning, seeing the sunrise. Enjoying a cup of coffee. And enjoying a cup of coffee in the wild. Tastes better in the mountains for some reason. Mm -hmm, that's for sure. So, good morning. I slept pretty good after after my Sasquatch after my sleep. bear went to sleep. <laughs> um, it wasn't really actually bad sleeping on the ground because we do have like a camping mat. Is that what you call it? A camping mat, so it was comfortable. Um, it was actually really nice being able to get up and go potty, not having to climb down. So I could get used to that. A girl could get used to that. <laughs> but overall, um, it was a great night, except for when it got super windy and we closed the hatch of the Forerunner. It sounded like we were sleeping in a plastic shopping bag. <laughs> yeah, it was blowing quite a bit. But then when we opened back up the hatch, the it still was blowing, but it wasn't as significant and loud. It and kept it, the, the connection a tight. A little totter. Yeah, and... so totter. More taut. <laughs> Tight. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, this thing, this thing is really good. Let me, let me turn this around. Wind's blowing right now. That's the connection that when we had the hatch closed, it was kind of flapping in the wind. All good things must come to an end. It's time to pack up and head back home. Since we already put up the tent for the first time, um, breaking it down was actually much easier knowing how the parts moved and were connected. It definitely is easier with two people um, wrapping it and getting it all condensed. Um, it fit nicely back into the bag as well. Um, zipping it up, having the straps, the anchor points, it all went back in its home, which sometimes, you know, is never the easiest thing to do. Um, but all in all, simple process. All right, final takeaways on the SUV tent. Um, I think overall, we both have to say that we, we really liked it and we're pleasantly surprised with it. Um, I think we found two kind of cons um, that I'd call them slight cons. One of them is kind of the, the material thickness, but... It's not a, an all-weather season tent at yeah. all. Um, it's I think it's strictly three seasons, and then if you're going to use it as an annex, extra living space um, from camping in your SUV, or we're going to actually try it on the Tacoma next as well. Yeah, as a, as a changing room and mm -hmm. just lounging area for sure. But the other drawback, and, and again, I can't even call it necessarily a drawback, is the size. I mean, here it is. This is it standing tall, and it's almost as tall as Shorty over I mean, here. Right so, to my armpit. So, yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's quite, quite, takes up a lot of space. But with that being said, I mean, again, it, it's got almost like an 8 by 8 footprint. I'll try to put the, a link or a description below uh, in terms of what the actual dimensions are. But it's, it's huge inside, so you've got to expect it's going to take up some space yeah. in your vehicle. We've got the Forerunner open. We're gonna show some shots of us putting it in there. Uh, for a one day trip, we were, we were packed pretty heavily um, with our boxes and, and we had the seats down, so no problem getting everything in and we're traveling with just two. But we're still trying to fine tune that. Yeah, our gear packaging for sure. 
you know, one of these days, I don't know if anybody else can relate, but it just seems like when you try to pare everything down again, you're like, oh, what if I need that? Yeah. I might need that. So you pack it and then do you ever use it? Probably not. Half so. the stuff that comes with you. Uh, you know, never ending. But. So if you're traveling with a family of four and you're in your need, all your back seats, you're, you're probably going to have to, this is probably going to live up on your roof rack. If you have yeah. one on your vehicles, strap it down, strap it down. And that would be the best place for it. Just, mm -hmm. just know that if, if you're looking at something like this is it, it does take up some space. And I would say that if we weren't ever approached to say, Hey, would this interest you guys? Would this enhance your adventures? Would you ever consider it? I don't know in ourselves if we would have ever considered using something like this, but now that we've used it, it was actually really nice to have extra space to stand in, um, to change in um, for nighttime when I got up, um, not having to exit out of um, the rooftop tent to potty. Um, just to get out of the elements, you know, I can only imagine if we were somewhere where there were tons of bugs, um, mosquitoes, they love me. This would be the most perfect retreat to actually still have all the screens open, enjoy the outside, but be protected from the blood suckers. So I think for us, we are definitely going to, you'll see this again. Um, for that's sure. how much we liked it. We're not being paid for this review at all. Um, this was something that we wanted to try out after they approached us and said, Hey, you know, we're, we're, we'd like to give this to you. If you use it, you use it. If you don't, you don't. Um, but I liked it. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I agree. And if, and if you're in the market, if you're looking for kind of an entry level too, I mean, this is a perfect way to get started. Um, you know, you may, I mean, people, I, I can tell you, I, I know plenty of people that have gone to the roof tent route, the rooftop tent <laughs> route, say that five times fast, yeah. the rooftop tent route and ended up going back to the ground. Mm -hmm. So this may be where you start. It this seems may like where that's a stay. trend that <laughs> seems to be happening. People so, going back to the ground know. at this point with, with Overland. I and, will say though, um, I still like sleeping off the ground. She does. <laughs> it, it, it didn't, I mean, it, it, I, my back's not hurting or anything like that but I just like being off the ground, so that won't change. So if we were to sleep in this again, I would have to either have like a higher air mattress or some type of cot or something. Yeah. But um, but that is the trend I think that a lot of people are heading towards are just uh, pop-up tents, ground tents, you know. Um, so this is a great entry-level option for you. And our vehicle here has always been intended for kind of a quicker, shorter, faster trips and, and where we don't have a tent purposely on top of it at this yeah. point. So. Perfect, perfect option for that, and and check it out. I mean, it may be something. We'll put the you're link below in. if it's something that you would like to check out or buy for yourself. Um, it's easy on the pocketbook. You can use it as a ground tent. You can use it connected to the SUV. So the options are endless for whatever adventure style that you have. Um, thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful in giving you some provided information. Hopefully our, you know, our little jokes came across. I don't know. <laughs> but if you enjoyed the video, um, give us a thumbs up. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We love having you come along on our travels and our adventures. And until the next time. We'll see you. On the open road. Bye. Bye.